Howdy, everyone. Chop this. Hello, and welcome back to uh, a game that we finished, well, didn't quite finish a few months ago, but uh, as we said, we would return. We're going to skip those because we've already seen them before. Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to the world of Hogs of War. I am the Black Shadow, and, uh, you know, had a couple days just to sort some stuff out, my own end, which I've kind of had to do. Um, it's all well and good. Been working on sort of trying to get San Andreas sorted out for when we return to that, which we're largely so almost ready to go, which is fine by me. But um, we are back here, uh, of course, folks, with... Uh, well, yeah, folks, with um, with Hogs of War, as we said I would be doing, um, as I had promised. Well, uh, the, well, sort of half mentioned I would do at the end of the uh, the last time we were here, and obviously moving to this one, folks, in regards to the uh, the special playthrough, folks, uh, the the Team Lard playthrough, um, also known, well, I suppose the hard difficulty playthrough, if you will, um, which I said we would be doing as a, a little uh, a little treat, especially for those that um, watch through uh, the original LP as well. Uh, quite a few people did ask me if I would be doing the uh, the hard playthrough, um, so uh, here we are, folks. Um, should be interesting. Uh, this is something I've never actually done before. Um, truth be told, I kind of half knew it existed, ish. Bloody demo mode. Um, I kind of half knew it was there, sort of, but uh, it is not something I've ever actually attempted. This is kind of new ground for me. Uh, the rules of this are pretty simple, actually. Um, the way of accessing it, because there's two ways of getting Team Lard. Um, you can go into a new game. And you can enter a particular name, uh, I think it's Mardi Pigs, to give you access to um, the Team Lard uh, group. However, when you play the actual campaign, you'll play through it like you're playing with any other nation. In order to access the um, the, the hard playthrough difficulty, if you will, um, you've got to actually complete the game in the first place with a force. And when you then complete said game, you'll actually get a uh, a different uh, instead. You see, uh, instead, of, yeah, instead it will coming down as Team Lard. You get this one here. So if we load this one, because if I load Team Lard there, that actually is not quite right. That takes us to this screen here, which I've slightly edited. Um, you can tell that this is um, a continuation of the first campaign because you can still see the pigs that we were using have still got the battles they fought, they've still got the amount of kills, etc, etc, etc. Very, very, very lovely. Um, now, the premise of Marty Pigs is um, basically, um, you know, it's, it's just like the original playthrough, you know, you've got to go through all um, 25 levels, folks. Um, however, all the enemies are beefed up. Um, they are a lot tougher to take down, purely because they've got higher ranks than they did last time. Um, specifically, you know, every pig you take on in this game is a rank higher than what they were. So, uh, if there's any points like here at the start of the game, you know, taking on grunts, they're actually not grunts. They're they're um, a beginning rank, like, like gunners or whatever. Um, scouts already have uh, turned to sniper rifles, and you know, going onwards and forwards and that, you know, any like you, any commandos you actually would have been taken on are straight heroes, which of course means airstrikes galore, which is not good. Um, so uh, we may have some fun and games in this one. Uh, I'm gonna do my utmost to um, get as many medals as I can, particularly those the survival bonuses, but. Uh, much like the uh, the previous playthrough, I cannot guarantee getting all of them. And in fact, I don't expect to get all of them at all. If I can get the amount that I did last time, I'll be pretty happy with that. Well, what I have done um, is I've taken these three pigs out um, to put in the three pigs that were on the sidelines for a bit of difference. Um, they've kept two, league, uh, two pigs on the previous one, which is uh, McLeod and, Lee and uh, Rick here. Uh, I brought um, Izzy in here, who I've actually actually had renamed, because you notice they've all still got the English names, or uh, well, the names in the previous... Um, so I've actually borrowed a couple of lame, uh, names that are actually used in the uh, the Mardi Pig setup, folks. Um, mainly Izzy, which is the uh, the most recognisable one. Um, so I've got him up here. Uh, I've actually uh, finally brought in Lee. Uh, I believe it was... Um, Oh, uh, what was the the lady's name? Um, in the beginning of the uh, the first playthrough of this, she asked me to um, add this pig to the um, the collection, which I was happy to do. But I'd already started. Uh, unfortunately, recorded several videos. Um, 
was it, oh, what was her name? Was it Mary Aykroyd? Something, something similar, it was something Aykroyd. I, I cannot remember your name, I do apologise if you're watching. Um, but if you are watching, uh, you will be able to see your pig actually in action, which is nice. And I also put Nobby in as well, and uh, borrowed another name that is used, uh, which is Mark, um, apparently. Uh, it, it, I, I was um, looking it up, and if not, I'm not worried, because these pigs will also still be using the British voice as well, so I kind of wanted a, a half-British name, so I'm willing to work with that. Um, let's see, you'll start with grunts. <coughs> oh, dear. As per normal. Um, we're ignoring the uh, the um, tutorial, obviously, because we you know, we did that already, so that's not important. Um, and we get straight on into the main game. As you can see, carrying off from the last, um, you know, obviously the last story, the English won. They conquered absolutely everything. So this is now um, Team Lard's attempt to take back what they believe is rightfully theirs. So there is going to be a lot of British on British action. Um, so uh, I hope you guys um, are going to enjoy the uh, the English AR music because you'll be hearing it a shit ton <laughs> while we're doing this. So as we move on into the first mission, the first thing you notice straight away is so that we've got our three grunts. That's all well and good. <coughs> Except every grunt you see that we would have been taken on as far as the enemies are concerned, they're now gunners. Obviously, this puts us at an immediate um, disadvantage to um, health, to weaponry, and all sorts. And yeah, this can get pretty miser miserable um, if you um, are not careful, folks. Uh, so you've got to be prepared for a bit of a fight. Um, and obviously, the, the early missions I think are, qu are going to be quite di are quite hard because obviously. You know, you've only got grunts, and you know the enemies you've taken on uh, got some pretty high-level weaponry. I think it probably gets a touch bit easier. I, I would think later on, perhaps like in the second and third um, uh, levels I, I, or islands. You know, when you've only got to deal with commands. Once you have to start playing around with heroes, that might change a bit. But uh, one step at a time, eh, folks? So what I am gonna have to be doing is I'm going to have to be seriously, seriously abusing as many mechanics of the game as I can. Because um, I think this is going to be pretty tricky. I mean, you know, normally, grenade, rifle shot, job done. But you got to bear in mind, not only, not only have these guys got more health, obviously, they've got rocket launchers, you know, bazookas, and all sorts of things, folks. Um, pistol, I don't mind. All over his boat if they want to use pistols every <laughs> single fight, that's fine with every shot. That's fine with me. I can live with that. Yeah, what is it, sir? Right. So what we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start abusing this time limit, folks, because we kind of need to. Um, the grunts are not really capable of withstanding much punishment. You know, one. Uh, the the wor the real problem here is that you know, when it comes to like using bazooka shots and that sort of thing and grenades. The AI are now disturbing the accurate. I mean, if they land a shot and it, it does like half the damage it should do, that's a poor shot from them. They, they more often than not, if you give them half a chance, they will basically directly hit you. But that's with bazookas, with mortars. Oh dear, I, I fear the mortars because mortars are going to be in from like basically the next mission. Mortars against grunts, that's, um, that's not good is what that is. That is bad. Right, so while speaking to the cloud up here. Gotta bear in mind as well what order the enemy pigs are in. So obviously you've got um you've got uh, the gunner over there first, Basil. And then you've got Den over there who's next. Who's gonna shoot back into that main pack. So you almost gotta do almost a bit of distraction if you will. you've got to kind of drag the enemy to kind of take on different enemies. Um, or different ones of your pigs. Can't let them focus on any one of yours because obviously, being grunts, they're just going to get destroyed. What's up with that? Enemy beware! So we need to take as full advantage of everything that we physically can, especially to start with when we've got virtually no equipment. I expect he still may shoot back into the centre. Oh no! Nope, no he's not, but this is where the problems are going to start. 
You asked These guys are too accurate. Bang. Almost a direct hit. I was expecting that to be, like, full in the face. I'm actually surprised that didn't do straight full damage. A um, little surprised by that, to be honest. Swing on round. The problem is, as well, it is that obviously the survival medals are going to be very, are very important uh, when, when you're doing this. Um, you know, we, we, we've got to try and get as many physically possible. But it, it, there's no easy missions, I don't expect. You know, whereas, you know, the first level or two, you know, aren't too bad. Um, back in uh, the original playthrough, but now everything's beefed up. You know, I expect things can get out of hand very quickly, and I do worry about like the Fort Island, um, especially. There's going to be heroes galore in maps. You know, the enemies going to be running down airstrikes in maps that they shouldn't really have airstrikes. So that's a bit worrying. But we shall see what we can do. We will try our damnedest, folks. It is all we can do. I do not want you to. Into the drink with you, sir. You are kidding me. You dirty scoundrel. A nice really? Busy. Bang, direct here. You're going to be seeing an awful lot of this. Hello? Right. Now at this point it's not so bad. Now we've got the the enemy the, the, the enemy pigs here should be trying to focus on us, um, oh, hopefully separately, which is what we want. As long as they don't start ganging up, should be okay because of the sheer amount of health that we've all got now. Because the health facts are pretty generous. Yep, that'll do. My speciality. Yeah, thanks for that. Why me? Right, we'll get McLeod back into the action. Second sniper shot, I think, is uh, the order of the day. Fire! There we go. Where will you be? There's going to be plenty of sort of forward planning and thinking ahead involved um, over the course of this. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's not good. Oh, direct hit as well. That's bad. Didn't need that. Right. Now what we got to do is try and protect him for a turn. Is it, it'll be at... It, 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 it's... Um, is that easy? It is easy, yes. We need to try and protect easy here. Because it's his turn next, and he can go and get the last health crate. So I need to kind of... This is a bit of an awkward one, this. I can take out uh, the gunner here, and I've just got to hope and pray that I can sort of, like, just present myself as an obvious target to, um... Percy down there. That's kind of the way we have to go about this. It's what you have to do. A bit silly, really, but... Come on. Take that, you water. If we want to get these survival bonuses, God, which are going to be important in the long run, broke. we've got to make sure we get as many as we can in the early ones, because it would be easy to lose them. Go right, go right. Thank you. Take that, you it's a bit crazy, really, folks, that we've got to make the enemy go with specific pigs. That's this could be a, a bit crazy, but unfortunately, it's the order of the day. That's annoying. That really is annoying. I mean, normally, I would have just probably just throw my grenade at it, but I'm caught. I'm, I'm, you know, I am worried about getting it. You know, we've got we've got a whole 99 seconds, folks. We're gonna we're gonna make as much use of everything as we can. I'm really not worried. 
every medal we get is important. And you got to think, folks, that for every medal that we might lose, you know, early on, is going to hamper us more and more and more. And it's just going to make the, the, the end. It's going to be difficult anyway. It's going to make the end just that little bit harder. There we go. I might not even need this help. I might just take out um, Thingy down here straight in one, in one go. But... As uh, a crazy man once said, better safe than sorry. Right, that That's not hard it. enough, is it? Oh, just about. It'll do the trick. You see? A lot more to that than um, the uh, the last time, folks. Hey, you know, we come in the, in the main original campaign, just come in, breeze through, easy as you like, do it, you know, with my eyes shut. You know, but to get the survival bonus there straight away, you, you've got to, you've got to think this through. You know, you've got to, you've got to put some thought into this. So um, I don't expect this to be easy at all. Still being supported by the Daily Squealer. Don't really know why we're the enemy now, but um, in any event, never mind. Right. Okay, so that's the first mission done. So what we want to do now? is get on into the second one. Now, what do we want, pig-wise? A bit of gun is a good idea. Of course, the the um, Team Lard Marty Pigs um, do have a unique gunner outfit uh, with the, the horns, which I think is quite cool, actually. Do we want a scout? Hmm. We can have a scout. We could have an engineer. The problem I'm worried about is there's already a gunner in here. There's a real worry in this one. There's, you've already got the gunner there. The problem is the gunner uh, is going to be a bombardier. And if he's got a bombardier, it means he's got mortars. Which could kill a grunt instantly before he can do anything. So... Do I get a scout and try and steal the mortars away? So one in four... Ch it's an awkward one. He's got... Uh, is it, well, it might, is it one in four? It might even be one in five. He might have a flamethrower or something. Very low odds of actually stealing it. Or do you try you get like the engineer and just try and kill the bugger? No, I think, I'm thinking engineer. And I'm going to have... Uh, Lee is going to be on our engineer path. So I'm actually going to... I think I'm actually going to have the engineer go first. Here, this one. Yes. No, do not want it. We're going to need the engineer for this one. We need to take out that bloody... Um, it's important we take out the, uh, the the bombardier in this one, hiding down the back first. So we'll send in our engineer to try and deal with him ASAP. Oh, it must be secured against the threat of the cowardly enemy ambush. Who is far superior to us in every way you can think of. Damn. I suppose the only benefit is although the AI are insanely accurate, at least they're not um, necessarily more intelligent than they used to be there. At the ready, sir. They're, um, don't want that. That's a bazooka. Um, do I want to take some health with me? I think it's not a bad idea, actually. The idea is I want Lee here to just be, like, taking all of the flack he visibly can. That's the logic. You see here, on this right, you see straight away, Nobby, Bombardier, 90 health, that's not good. Mortars, dreadful. So, get Lee in first tier. If we can, uh... Mine den um, to below, so he falls down. That'd be good. So we can get get him down. The grints can start getting him. And we've got old Nobby here, who I'm gonna have to sing out for some special treatment. To get him away from the front line. I just want him to just have at um, Lee here. If we can at least withstand the punishment. Got the other one to fall down. The other one has fallen down. Good. Basil first up in the front, which is normally where I go to, because normally this is just a grunt. But obviously this is now a gunner, which is 
dangerous. It's, it, I, 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 I was a bit worried about leaving him, but we'll have to see how we go. Oh, that's not the one I wanted him to go for. Oh, that for Ooh, that's hopeless. bad. Ooh, <laughs> that's not good at all. Oh, that's bad. McLeod straight down to 10. Right. Pain. It really is. Let me try and deal with Den. Okay then. It's pretty flat. I could probably aim this pretty much flat. Flat bat is full power. It will probably hit Den pretty full. Don't need to do anything particularly fancy. Yeah, just full power it. Alright, I got you in sight now. There you go. That's pretty good. In the water. Bonus. Brucey bonus. I think that helps. I, I, I'll take it. Right, Nobby, what's he going to do? For the love of God, do not... No, don't walk... No. Bad, Nobby. Nobby. Nobby, don't do this to me. Nobby. What are you doing? Really? Watch how accurate this is. On the... On the marker. Now, sir. That's worrying. Well... I'll take it. It's kind of what I wanted him to go for. Uh, it didn't look like he was going to, but oh well. Let's get McLeod sorted out here. It's 30 health there. Oh, it's, not, it's not good, this. He's always, it's annoying. You've always got to second guess yourself at times. It's really, really bad. You've got to think, well, if I, you know, if I attack this pig and say I kill him, who's next? What's he going to do? You've got to really think ahead of yourself. I mean, I surely I've got to take out Mr. Mortar here. It's got to be the way to go. I don't know what top the top is. This is a bazooka. It might be TNT. Commentator is not really sure. I'll have a look. Ooh, hello. Right then, McLeod. Something distinctively unsniper like of you, but, uh, hell, what do I really care? Make sure you land right into a nice body of water. Right, that sounds like a plan. That'll do nicely. Bang! Into the drink she goes. Oh, good show. Let's send them back Very nice. Right, now we have some fun with Basil. I don't know who he's going to go for. I, I honestly not sure. I don't know who I really want him to go for. What on earth? Especially. What is he doing? Is he mad? Whatever. This commentator is not really sure. What was that? A moment of absolute madness by by the um by the Tommy's troll. I do not know what's going on there with the AR. That was bizarre. That did happen once or twice in the main game, but that is beside the point. What on earth? Well, we are more than happy to work with it, to be fair. I, I, I can live with that. Really bizarre. Not sure what to say. Never mind. That was way too powerful. Uh, not a good shot. Straight forward, eh, which is not really much use. Basil here thinks he's some kind of pistolero. Does that mean me? Hey, hey. Meanwhile, on, the pig formerly known as Nobby moving in to deal a bit more damage. Try and get him close to the water would be nice. That'll do, I guess. 
As long as all the pig's health is above 50, well, about 50 or there or, or more, then they basically can't be killed in one shot. That's the main thing. I think that's going to be the trick to a lot of this game, is making sure that our pigs are in positions where they cannot be instantly killed, or at least it's very difficult to do so. If we get, as of course, if that's what we end up sort of falling into... Um, then that's where our problems are going to start arising. Not too sure what Basil thinks he's doing. I think he's going for a height advantage, which is a clever thing, except for the fact that I've got a 99 second time limit. But other than that... Hey, Johnny! Incoming! <laughs> Again, look at that. Absolutely dead perfect. It's honestly worrying! This could be a victory of it really is! You know, the enemy are so freaking accurate with those explosives. Can you imagine what they'd be like with, with you know, we've seen them with mortars, but with like air bursts? Ugh. Fucking precision engineered destruction. Courtesy of the AI. But at least this chapter is closed. I don't need to aim that. God blimey. I do believe I've croaked. Just walk up to him. That is making a statement, folks. But they might be precision engineered destruction, but we are going to have to be ruthlessly efficient if we hope to contend against uh, the enemy here. Hip hip hooray! The... What? I, I don't know. We've got a long way to go, though, folks, in this one. Trench warfare, which is all well and good. You know, again, the end, but it's worrying, though, because any time there's going to be any sniper class at all, they've got sniper rifles immediately. And again, that's a straight 40 damage against, you know, grunts and low rank pigs. That is absolutely deadly. You know, so, um... We've got a long way to go, and I think this is, you know, uh, this is not going to be easy, folks. Uh, but I'd say several people asked for this. I'm willing to give it as good a go as I can. If I can do it, that'd be fantastic. As I say, I have never, ever attempted this before. So, it should be interesting. Uh, but I'm afraid that's going to have to bring an end to this video, I'm afraid. I was hoping to do one more, but I have to sort of run out of time. Uh, so, what we're going to do next time... Uh, we carry on with this uh, little fun in games while again I'm still playing around with getting San Andreas sorted out having a replay through half the game so I can show off a mission which is a bit silly but that's you know my game and my console and everything else is a bit poorly so I don't um, so next time folks uh, we're going to be uh, carrying on with the um, let's swap our positions back around I'm going to have uh, next time, folks, we are going to be uh, making our way, continuing on through the first time, folks. Hopefully, I'll be trying to finish it off, actually. Um, we'll be trying to finish off our first um, island, uh, get that all well and done. Um, and, uh, yeah, it should be good stuff, I'm hoping, but uh, even carrying on, you know, you're thinking, like, even the second island, what, Mission 6, you know... They're going straight to pyrotechnics, you know, that have got airbursts and the AI, I mean, there is going to be some miserable times up ahead. There is going to be some rage um, and there is going to be some absolute AI bullcrap going on later on. I just know it, folks. Um, so I'm going to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you will join me for the, the next video in this special uh, playthrough of um, Let's Play Hogs of War. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you then. So, uh, ta-ta for now.